DC, we went straight to Virginia. We weren't really expecting to make a video here because we had no idea that there are so many cool breweries and wineries in this area. There's about 30 breweries and oh God knows how many wineries within like a yeah. 15 mile radius. So in three days we visited four breweries, two wineries, a Civil War battlefield, Air and Space Museum. Um, we really packed it in. We cannot wait to show you everything that we found here. Welcome to Virginia. Our first stop is Bear, Bear Chase, Chase Brewery, which is right along the Appalachian Trail. Trail. And then after this, we're gonna go to a winery, so let's check it out. cold and refreshing right now. This is probably the hottest place we've been to in months, <laughs> which is ironic because we're in the mountains of Virginia. It's interesting. Learn something new every day. This place is cool too. They have little food truck stalls everywhere. Spanakopita, baklava, kegs on the terrace, um, more food upstairs, and they have a little restaurant here too, which is pretty cool. It's very big. It's very large grounds. Picnic tables, fire pits, there's a greenhouse, there's an actual house in the rest of Virginia. And it crosses paths with the actual Appalachian Trail. Appalachian? Appalachian. 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 So they have an Oktoberfest here. Bear Chase. Uh, just won gold medal in the Great American Beer Festival. So they're promoting that it's the best Oktoberfest in the country. It's quite delicious too. Malty robust, it's very light though. Best American beer, best American view. Mm. Our next stop, Chrysalis Winery. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a really cool way out here in the country and the sun's about to set. They close at eight o'clock, so we got about an hour to do a little wine tasting. So Chrysalis Vineyards Winery, cool place. We just had a couple bottles, a nice little charcuterie plate, and it got a little late. We stayed here a little longer than we wanted to because of the sunset. So we're gonna head back and home for the night and try to wake up early and see what else we can do in Chantilly. Perfect ending to a wonderful day. We will see you later and let you know what we get up to tomorrow. Bye. This is Manassas Battlefield, Virginia.
So after the battlefield, we checked out Bull Run Winery. We just got here. It's packed. Very long list of rules. We pulled up and they asked us for a reservation. We said we didn't have one. Um, then they said, don't worry, you don't need one. And then gave us quite literally an entire sheet of paper with rules and regulations. Um, we can't even bring in water or a water bottle. We can't bring in anything. It's pretty crazy. But it seems to be a cool place, super popular, I guess, why they recommend coming here. The grapes are actually growing right over there. It's supposed to be really good. Your vineyards are right there. Past the parking lot, but you can't really get close to it. And those fences, they're original Civil War fences. They have a huge amount of tables here. Wow. 150, looks like 200 plus tables in property. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Doesn't look that big. Fried chicken. They got a fried chicken truck, and fried fish truck, and fried cookie truck. That's delicious. I think we'll probably do a bottle of that. That's delicious. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. Super clean. It just dissolves on the tongue, but it's really, really silky. Very, very silky. That might be the winner. I think that might be the winner. our last day in Virginia and before we take you to more wineries and breweries we wanted to make sure that we saw the Air and Space Museum as well. This place is super cool it's a gigantic hangar uh, so we had to stop by here and this one's actually bigger than the Smithsonian in DC which who to thunk um, super cool place though. I got it! You're blocking my One thing I gotta say that um, this Air and Space Museum has over the Smithsonian in DC is this place got balls. SR7 Blackbird, 2,000 miles an hour. It went from London to LA in three hours. LA to DC in one hour and four minutes. 2,000 miles an hour, that's faster than a bullet. So this place was super cool. We actually spent more time here than we thought. 
there are World War II airplanes, different kinds of airplanes, um, spacecraft. Satellites, mm -hmm. there's the fastest jet plane ever, uh, there's missiles, rockets, probes, containment centers, mm -hmm. flight suits, and they actually have um, volunteers online video chat to answer questions about certain spacecrafts, and it's all live. A lot of them are veterans, they flew these planes, built these planes. Really, really cool place. Um, could spend hours here, hours and hours. I think we're going on hour three right now. Yeah, we are getting a little bit hungry though, so we're just gonna take another quick look around and show you our next stop. See you later. What's this plane? You're my only hope. That's so cool. I'm your husband. <laughs> oh, that's super cool. So um, it's kind of funny. We found this Hawaiian themed brewery here mm -hmm. called Ono Brewery in Chantilly. I guess the owners and brewers lived in Oahu for a little bit, kind of right up our alley. So we kind of had no choice but to stop by. And also it is only a few minutes away from the Air and Space Museum. It's about what, five minutes? Yeah, I think Drive it's at eight there. minutes. We got here in like six minutes. Yeah, it's right by the museum, so it's the perfect place to stop by after for a cold brew. Let's see if they have poke. Let's go. cool concept it's you pour your own beer and they give you this card so they charge you by the ounce but you can taste everything they have on tap which is really cool so kind of nervous about that let's see what happens yeah that's kind of what I'm thinking Six tastings for your own is six dollars for 12 ounces, which is great. You can't get a six dollar tasting beer menu anywhere we've been yet. That's awesome. And these sandwiches were only like six, seven dollars each, too. And then for the sauces, we have the spicy barbecue, spicy pineapple, and spicy. Look at this thing. Six dollar corned beef on a cheddar bun. Good. With a white Virginia barbecue sauce on it. Look at the size of this thing. Holy so good. It's amazing. Oh, it's stupid. It's stupid. Mac and cheese. Also bomb. Mm. Roasted pit beef with our boiled chili, hot barbecue sauce, and pickles. Look at the size of that. Thing. Thinly shaved brisket. It's so tender. The smoke is super good. It's like a giant cheddar biscuit. 
smoked pork belly. There's just two giant slabs of pork belly in there. Mm. It's like biting into huge smoked pepper chunks of bacon. And it's just juicy. Yeah. So good. It's like a bacon sandwich. Mm. This is really exceptionally, exceptionally good barbecue. Jesus. Unreal. Absolutely unbelievable. It's so good. The corned beef, the brisket. Pork belly, the mac and cheese, like, holy like, It was really, really outstanding. I would come back here just for the barbecue alone, even though it is a brewery and the beers are good too, but the barbecue is amazing. So I will highly recommend this to anyone in Chantilly, Virginia. Go. Go for the barbecue, stay for the beer. Hope you enjoyed all the breweries, wineries, airplanes, cemeteries, graveyards, cannons. <laughs> um, of Virginia and we'll see you next week see you next week bye